you're talking about vegetables and produce that are great this time of year. Absolutely. We're in the dead of winter, and it can kind of seem like we're in a fruit and vegetable desert. There's not a lot of fresh foods around, but there are. See how vibrant and colorful yes. everything is? This looks We've got a ton of options that are all super beautiful. healthy for us, so I brought them here today to show us. Okay, where do you want to start? You want to start fruits or vegetables? Oh, let's go vegetables Okay, first. let's go vegetables. <laughs> I'll take vegetables these are... for 200, please. <laughs> <laughs> all my favorite winter vegetables, and these are great because they're actually probably harvested in the fall, but they last okay. throughout the winter. So mm. you can actually get some local ones at the public market still growing. But here we've got butternut squash. I still have these from my garden. They yep. last. We have cabbage, turnips, parsnips, celery, kale, Brussels sprouts, and carrots. So these are all seasonal to the winter. And then get, when you're buying seasonal produce, it's going to be cheaper. Right. It's going to be more nutritious for you, and it's going to taste better. Yeah. So we've got this awesome recipe from the American Diabetes Association, and this is going to be a roasted root vegetable soup. And okay. it's got almost all of these vegetables in it and what you do is you actually roast them all in the oven and then you're just going to pour them into your pot using the immersion blender with some vegetable stock and that's it it tastes so good and it's so simple. super easy right super right. easy yeah. and it's supposed to be is it supposed to be cold normally or is it supposed to be warm <laughs> no i didn't well sometimes I, the soup I, is yeah, so that's why sometimes I asked, it is okay. sometimes i like, like to a, give a you a spacho yeah for instance oh, that's really a fancy good twist but yeah it really brings out the flavor when you're roasting the vegetables yeah. it caramelizes oh my gosh, them very good. gives it a great flavor it's vegan gluten free good. so anybody can give it a try very easy good. to make okay. really, really good. i like that one yeah very good and that's got all of these in here all of these except for the kale and the brussels sprouts all of these so you're going to get a ton of nutrients by using a bunch of different variety of vegetables. I love that. That's I'm a very big Brussels. Yeah. Do you like Brussels sprouts I love too? Brussels sprouts. I, love I feel Brussels like a lot sprouts. of people dislike them. They're I feel one of like my they favorites. They were cooked right when they had them. You I know, agree. they're yeah. making a comeback. A lot of people are coming up with these really great ways to cook them. Yeah. I like to put mine in a cast iron skillet and almost like fry them on the bottom uh -huh. and then throw them in the oven. A little bit of bacon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know, when they have that crisp to them. Yes. They're so yeah, good. My so wife makes them a lot because my son, when he's home, he likes them and he never would have liked them when he was growing right. up. Yeah. So, yeah. I think they're making a comeback. Yeah. Sure. Fruits. Good stuff. Fruits. We're into citrus season, and it kind of really coincides well with our winter up here where we're all getting sick and we could all benefit from additional vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So it's great to get this fruit from Florida, wherever it's going to be growing. You can get these at Wegmans, and right now the, the citrus is so cheap at really? Wegmans. If you go and they have their um, family packs, mm -hmm. the family packs of oranges and grapefruits, it's like 29 cents a piece of fruit. You can't go wrong with that. So if wow. you're on a budget looking to go for something healthy the citrus fruit is in season now we've got tiny clementines here grapefruits kiwis and i brought a couple new things if in case you haven't tried them before okay. so i have fresh mango that's the orange that's the orange nope that's the yellow, yellow, the yellow one, one. They want to have yep. my hand yes. yep. super high in vitamin c really tropical flavor smooth and creamy and doug if you're lazy like me yep. wegman's actually has the uh they spears <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. and they don't charge anything extra for that no they? it's, no, it's the same super price. super inexpensive yeah. okay. and then so this mango. one a little bit different is a persimmon. Not a lot of people have had this before. Oh. I had it for the first time. It's just a really unique Ooh. flavor mm. and um, just something different if you're getting bored of the same old, same old. You want to try something new. It and these good. are all it available at Wegmans. Like easy to get. Yeah. And it's just a way to spice up and get those fresh fruits into our diet when we're kind of in the middle of dreary of winter. I love kiwi too. Oh, kiwis are my favorite too. My and those are, they're so high in fiber right. from the seeds so they're going to keep you fuller longer and tons of phytonutrients from that dark green color. And the clementines are just to me that that is like the most convenient thing to it's bring. Like fast food. Mother yeah. Nature's fast food. You throw it in your bag. They're easy to peel. The little ones are super easy to Nutritionally, peel. it is an orange, right? I mean, it is, is an it, orange, yeah. yeah. A ton of vitamin C, ton of fiber, so have them all. And sweet as can be. Sweet as can be. Like and they're us. perfect for toddlers. Yes. yes like you guys. So a lot of this stuff at Wegmans, but we should say public market you mentioned public as well. Public market as yeah. well, yeah. absolutely. Especially if you're looking for locally grown produce, public market is where you're going to find those vegetables. I feel like a lot of people tend to kind of stay away during the winter months but yeah, it's a great time no, of year to go there it's a great time to go there's a ton of local farmers and it's still available now matt this is my favorite time of the week because as emily's leaving yes we can take all this food that we want just kind of it's like oh a perfect shopping spree you can, are you taking all the kale i'll take the kale <laughs> you can the have kale. the kale <laughs> i like i actually like she needs kale. to come in with the little uh plastic baggies that you that's pull right. off the bowl. yes that's right and it's a scale everybody. <laughs> to weigh it and put it on our account weather traffic local headlines all coming up next Stay with us.